Hi friends, welcome back to the Program Market YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about the explain about the class loader subsystem in Java. Can you implement your own class loader in Java? Okay, it is the one one of the very very important interview question for the experienced people and also freshers also sometimes they will ask. Okay, so the Java class loader is the part of Java runtime in environment. Okay, so there is a few differences are there. Okay, JRE, JVM, and JDK. So Java class loader comes under the Java runtime environment. Whenever your program is executing, right, that is nothing but the runtime environment. Okay, so the, I mean the classes are going to load the dynamically into the Java virtual machine. See, uh, whenever you are trying to execute the program, the JRE calls the uh, classes and it is going to execute in Java virtual machine. Okay, the JVM does not require to know about the files and file system because of class loader. See, uh, in Java, class loader is exist because of that. Right, we no need to. I mean, JVM is no need to about the classes and uh, and their features and all because right. Whenever it requires in the Java program, line by line compilation is going to be happen, right? So at that time, Java class loader is going to be look for the file, either for particular file is exist or not. Okay, all classes are not loaded into the memory at once. Okay, whenever it requires Java class loader loads dynamically. Not all classes load by a single class loader, depending on the type of the class and path of the class. The class loader loads the particular class. Okay, there are three types of class loaders are there: Bootstrap class loader, Extension class loader, Application class loader, or System class loader. Okay, see, we are going to explain in detail with the pictorial diagram how it is going to be work and which pattern it is going to be work. Okay, if you see the right Java virtual mission is going to be look and loads the class loader subsystem. And initially, right, class loader subsystem is going to be called the application class uh, application class loader. Uh, the Java which uh, class loader subsystem follows the delegation model and delegate or delegation algorithm. It also follows the visibility algorithm and uh, uh, uniqueness uh, model. Okay, I will explain in this section only. Okay, see, first of all, if class JVM requests any class. It searches the application class loader and uh, uh, it requests the application class loader. Application class loader delegates the extension class loader. Extension class loader delegates the bootstrap class loader. Bootstrap class loader searches in the bootstrap class path. That means JDK home, JRE, lib, and rt.jar location. So th that is there in the our Java environment. If you see right, Java. Um, go to the C drive and go to the program files java and jdk here i'm using the 1.8 jdk so in J jdk jre and inside the jre lib so in this lib right rt.jar is there okay suppose if you see right rt.jar so rt.jar okay all the class files are available uh, predefined uh, java apis are available here okay so this rt.jar file is going to be look and suppose the request suppose the requested class is not find in the bootstrap class path then bootstrap class loader delegates the extension class loader the extension class loader is going to be search in the extension class path jdk home and jre lib and extension jar in the same folder right if you see in the same folder there is a extension is there See, there is extension dependent jars are there. Okay, so it is going to be look for all the jars. If particular uh, class is exist, then it is going to be execute Java program. Suppose if extension class loader does not contain any information, then it delegates to the system class loader. So system class loader is the uh, child class of extension class loader. Extension class loader is child class of bootstrap class loader. So bootstrap class loader is the parent class and system extension classes are the child classes okay so now the extension class loader is going to be check in the environment variable class path suppose right in in our real time 
application there is a so many other requirements might be there so you need to configure at the application level like uh, um, you might have worked like uh, environment variables to configure the environment variables see in, if you see advanced system settings right environment variables so here right system variables are going to be set so these system variables are going to be help to look for the requested classes at the entire environment okay this is how java class loader subsystem is going to be work suppose if application class loader also doesn't contain any classes whatever requested by the jvm then it is going to be throw the class not found exception or no class def found error okay so this is how it is going to be work so the same content i am explaining in the content based see bootstrap class loader bootstrap class loader load uh, is responsible load the class from the bootstrap class path here bootstrap class path means usually java application internal jvm uses the rt.jar so rt.jar is going to be all core java api classes are belongs to the rt.jar okay extension class loader extension class loader is the child class of bootstrap class loader this class loader is responsible to load the extension class path and if you see the application class loader right the application class loader is the child class of extension class loader this class loader is responsible to load the applic application class path okay this application class path loader is implemented only in java and the name of the application class loader is like a, we can say like a sun dot uh, means launcher dollar application class app dot app class loader okay there are a few principles are there like uh, delegation model and visibility principle and uniqueness principle delegation model I, I, I have already explained so i am going to show in this show in this slide see delegation model see the complete thing i already explained okay so the the java virtual mission and java class loader uses the algorithm called delegation hierarchy model to load the classes into the java file the class loader work based on the set of operations given by the delegation model they are class loader is always follows delegation hierarchy principle whenever jvm comes across the class it checks whether class is already loaded or not suppose if class is already loaded then method area area then jvm proceeds the execution if class doesn't uh, present method area right then jvm asks the class loader subsystem to load the particular class and then it is going to be delegates to this application class loader and delegates the extension class loader and delegates the bootstrap class loader then what happened in in bootstrap class loader right bootstrap class loader will search the bootstrap class path if class is available then load it if not it requests to the it delegates to the a request to the extension class loader if extension class loader searches and in the extension class path if it is available then it will load if it is not available then it is going to be load into the application class loader application class loader searches the class in application class path if class is available then it loads then it if it is not there then class not found exception is going to be generated so this is the delegation model now we will see the visibility principle the visibility principle states that the class loaded by the parent class is visible to the child class loader but child class loader is not visible to the parent class loader see this is very simple to understand it is following the it is following the inheritance model okay it's very simple it is following the inheritance model suppose class java test class has been loaded by the extension class loader then class is only visible to the extension class loader and application class loader not to the bootstrap class loader if the class is again try to load the using the bootstrap class loader then it is gives the class not found exception uniqueness property the uniqueness property ensures that classes are unique and there are no repetition of the classes this is also ensures that classes loaded by the parent class loader are not loaded by the child class loader okay 
see there are the few methods are there so these are the methods very important uh, it uses to it uses to do while creating the custom class loader okay so load class define class find class find loaded class class dot for name so you might have used the load class and class dot for name many times when you are working with the um, database okay so you can pass and see it you can get to the uh, all the information okay so now we will see how to create the custom class loader suppose right customized class loader means sometimes right we may not satisfy with default class loader mechanism then we can go for the customized class loader the default class loader dot class file low file only once even though we are using the multiple times that class in our program after loading the dot class file if you modify the outside then default class loader won't load the updated class version of the dot class file on fly because dot class file is already there in the method area to overcome this problem right we are going to implement the customized class loader public class customized class loader is the class and all if you want to create right you need to extend the class loader if you see example right you will understand see uh, here uh, customized class loader is there right i have created the uh, uh, taken one class and extending the uh, class loader okay so in this class loader i am creating the method loading uh, load class okay so in the student right student one student s1 is equals to new student this is there in out, out of the box okay and the default class loads all loads the student dot class suppose right um, both the developers are both the uh, companies are working parallelly to updating this class right at that time whatever the class is available our class path right that is going to be work so if you want to load different company or different uh, programmer modifier right you need to call the class loader dot load class actually actually this is the class right you can define any class but it is going to have the properties of the class loader okay so this customized class loader checks updates and loads the updated version of the student okay so this is how it is going to be work this is how it is going to be work so i hope you have been enjoyed watching this video if you like the content of the video please like subscribe and share the video with your friends thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye